guys welcome on back to another copart walk around and i am out here at the sublot um out here in las vegas nevada now i'm just rolling through now i'm looking for one of the yard people so i can let them know i'm here but i'm gonna find me a parking spot real quick and we're gonna get to work there's so much good stuff to see out here um and i can't wait to uh kind of show it off and show you guys what's up Oh man, look at all these trucks. <clears throat> look at all these trucks. And I know y'all are gonna say, damn TK, you do, you doing the green monster foul. Well, it needs to get washed today, so <coughs> that's why I took it out. I want to get it clean. I see you. Oops. Yeah, one thing you definitely got to be careful with out here is the the forklifts moving around. Because there's, it's not that they move around more than they do somewhere else. It's just a lot of blind corners out here. So, but luckily I'm not a novice. Damn, look at some of that carnage, man. Woo! K band. Some of that carnage is ridiculous. Oh, all right, be quiet. All right, so we're going to the other side of the sublot today. I'm gonna find me a good parking spot. Oh, that's so poor old Mercedes. I don't know if you saw that where we were going by. Oh, there's an old Toyota truck. I've saw some decent classics out here too. Some vehicles that you think shouldn't be here, you know? Uh oh, am I sinking? <laughs> I forgot that if it rains out here, I might be screwed. I might have to have the forklift pick me up and get me out of here. All right, we got some more RVs over here and some heavies. You guys asked for some heavies, and I don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow, but I will get into some semis for you because you guys asked. Only because you asked. There's some refrigerated units out here, and believe it or not, um, one of them, I guess, was listed as a hospital unit. So more than likely, it was a morgue, and now they can't sell it or reuse it as a food one. I, I don't know why, but yeah, it's a thing. That's what's up. Shout out to Alex out here in Las Vegas at Cole Park. <clears throat> and shout out to Michelle for letting the people know so I can get this in, get this, get this vital, critical <laughs> work done. Oh, balls. All right, we're going to park here in a minute and we're going to get started. They got some toasty RVs out here. Whew. I'm going to park right next to this beautiful baby. Look at that beautiful baby. That X6 right there. Oh, uh, that's pretty. Guys, now we're here and welcome on back to another Copart walk around. <clears throat> now I'm going to get started with a couple of vehicles. It's going to be a mix. We'll have some cars, we're going to have some RVs. We may even have some semi trucks out here today. And I did forget my sunglasses, didn't I? Oh, well, you're going to have to deal with my squinting ass face. Let's go ahead and get directly into it right now. All right, guys, parked right next to the green monster. I happened to approach and find this beautiful, amazing looking BMW X6, which <clears throat> at first glance looks like it has some significant damage. I mean, yes, the crash bar is pushed in pretty hard, but not so much. Like the frame rails, like I could basically unbolt that and unbolt both sides, put a brand new crash bar in it. And to be honest, I'd probably replace that condenser and those coolers. But you know what? If they work, I don't even know if I'd mess with them. It looks like just plastics and, um, you know, cosmetic stuff. Like, I see this here, right, with this sensor. So, yeah. Like, there's some work that would have to be done to it, but it's not terrible. The wonderful thing about these and the X5, like, the fenders are plastic. They're easy to come by. Um, the hood, you'd have to replace. You need a headlight, which that would probably be expensive. But the rest of the truck does not look bad. It doesn't. And the X6, just like the 6 Series, when they first came back out, they're timeless, man. Oh, I, those exhaust pipes look 
crazy sticking out to the side like that. I don't know if that was normal or not. But <clears throat> stamp thing is beautiful, man. Stamp thing is beautiful. Airbag did deploy. No biggie. Oh, look, there's some of the grill and front fascia stuff there. I wonder if the headlight's in here. <clears throat> yep, it's broken. But maybe you can salvage it? I don't know. The HID stuff is in there, so that's a win. Huh. I don't know, man. Not bad, if you ask me. The window is stuck down for a while, so it's a little dusty. Not a good, not a bad way to start. It's a 09 X6. Huh. It's already got the black and white uh, rondelles, the logos on the wheels. I don't know. I think I could, I could rock that. I have to add that to the watch list. I wasn't planning on buying nothing out here either. Well, nothing unless it was a very cheap vehicle and something I could flip. I don't want to have to put something else on the trailer or transport something. Which brings me to another BMW. And I know you guys are like, damn it, TK, with these friggin' BMWs. But there's some good deals out here. I got to show them. Now, this one doesn't run and drive. And it's a 7 Series, so uh, go figure. <laughs> 97,000 miles on it. Got some crazy looking rims. I don't even know what those are. 26530 R22s, but those tires look crazy. Um, you're not going anywhere fast, I guess, with that. 750. Now, these cars were known. Like, see, here's the thing with the BMW 7 Series. Like, they throw all the new tech and stuff into the 7, right? And see what sticks see what people like all of that good stuff and the problem with that is new stuff usually breaks you don't want to be at the very bleeding edge of something new whether it's a cell phone or a car because you never know <clears throat> when it's going to quote unquote shit to bed so let's take a look in here oh yeah so if they had that oh, they got another Thing pulled from under the damn dashboard of this is digital dash so it's newer it's a 10 damn it ain't that new I thought it was newer than that but I guarantee you it's got a, a trans issue or something and it's in you know forced into neutral that's why they got the steering wheel lock like that and they were towing it and towing it like that even if they towed it from the front wheels uh oh Looks like there's dope on the floor. No, thank you. I'm going to leave that right there. Somebody's pain pills or something, probably. You, 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 you know, you'll be surprised. They don't clean. It's not Copart's job to clean these vehicles. So you'll be surprised what you find out here. I'm almost afraid to open the trunk. Oh, you know what? It probably won't open anyway. Because the uh, battery's dead. It tried. I heard it click. But it was it's dead dead. So it's not going to open. I don't know. Not a bad car. I mean, body-wise. Front tire is definitely flat. I don't see any bends in the rim, but it, it probably hit something bad. Did some significant damage, and it's a wrap. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know you guys are like, get away from this BMW. Let's see some other cars. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, so getting away from the BMW... We're going to head, I know you guys are going to be like, oh, what's up with all the German stuff today? But it's all right here. I got to show it to you. We got another German car, but this one does run and drive. And um, the damage, why maybe looking significant from the front, to my eye, doesn't look super serious. Now, this is a newer, this has got to be an S-Class. But, you know, they made them all look the same now. So I got to look. Yeah, it's an S550. It's an S550 with 153,000 miles on it. It's a 14. All right. Somebody enjoyed driving this thing. Now, the damage definitely looks significant. And I know that these headlights alone on both sides are like three to $4,000 a piece. Three to $4,000 a 
peace. So, yeah, talk about crazy. That's crazy. Now, you can see the crash bar is bent in over here, right? And they do run some kind of hose or line or something through there. But I'm willing to bet you could probably pull that out. You could probably pull that thing out and be okay. You know what I'm saying? Put it back together. Put the plastics on it. You're probably going to need a hood. I did see that. Because you got a bend right there. Or you might have a good body shop that could fix that. You never know. You never know. But I'm, I'm willing to bet it's the mileage, not the damage that totaled it. You got a scrape over here on the door. One there. And you can see down there at the bottom. I like the zoom on this thing. Makes my job easier. <clears throat> no other major damage around the rear. So overall, it's pretty clean, to be honest. Interior is probably what you would expect. Clean, right? It's not all dogged out or beat up. You got the nice seats. They probably got, are these the massage joints? Nope. But they do have the heated and cooled seats. The massage feature is missing. Cool. But the interior is very, very, very clean. I'm going to get to the other side. We'll see if she has any kind of power. Probably not. We'll check. Oh, they even included the bumper. So you can know just how serious it hit whatever it was that it hit. Oh, it cut the bumper, whatever it hit. Whew. Is that the other headlight over there? No. That was going to be the most, and then you can see the seat is just, and then these seats are going to be a dog to clean with this stuff on it too. So. They're going to be a dog to clean, man. I know it. Those tan and white leather seats. Uh-uh. Got the nice sound system though. Key is on board. It looks like it has power. It says do not forget the key. Now you see a little bit of blood on the steering wheel. So no airbags deployed but somebody ate it. And you can see it down there on the carpet. Along the seat. So somebody either hit their face on the dash or maybe something up top. Nothing bad. And you'd be surprised like head wounds guys. They bleed like a sieve, man. All right, let's see if this thing has enough power to fire up, shall we? It runs. And it doesn't run bad. Oh. I saw that. As soon as you see a, a, a thing that pops up and then I heard the hiss. So, it definitely ran over something under the engine when the oil pressure warning comes on right away. So, this one's got probably some significant undercarriage damage. Yeah. Or, the oil cooler's busted, which I'm just now looking at. Nice. It is listed as a run and drive, but they probably should put a no start on this one. I have to let them know at the office to stick a no start on this one. Otherwise, it's going to just spew oil out. Well, outside of that, like I said, that oil line probably just needs to be plugged into something. It's not like it's a horrible car. I think this could definitely be fixed. But with the mileage, and then you got to think, after the accident, if it's... If it's leaking oil like that, right? You have to think about this. After the accident, if it's leaking oil like that, how long did it run like that? Maybe a while, right? And that would be not good for the engine. I don't know. It could be worth, worth a stab. All right, let's go over here and check out some of these uh, RVs that are on my line right here 
Oh man, I gotta clean the car today. I'm gonna have dust all in my shoes. You know, the things I like to do. All right. Now this is, let me give you a, I think this is a bounder, right? Sure as hell looks like one. South wind, okay, it's a south wind. They're all the damn same. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna avoid the steps completely. <clears throat> oh, it almost looked like it had, I was like, yeah, they got lights in here? <laughs> like, it's got power? Wait a minute. So this one is what they call an old school, right? It's not new. Oh, I like how they got the TV right on top of the engine compartment. Funny. Let's look and see if it has power. It's a Ford, so I'm gonna guess it's a V10. That's gonna be my guess. Uh-oh. As dead as a doornail. But at least it's got keys. Huh. It's not an extra set of keys. It's not exceptionally ratty, to be honest. Oh, I like I like the coffee maker like that. That's what's up. Sink, stove, oven. You don't see a lot of ovens. Microwave, big boy fridge. I like that. I just like this RV while you BSing. Oh, nice. Pass through to the bedroom. Big boy shower. Itty bitty toilet. But that's what you're going to get on an RV. You got these cabinets. Nice. I don't know. This, this one right here is kind of piquing my interest. Big old bed. You can imagine how many kids were made here. <laughs> I'm done. Yo, I don't know, man. TV, look at that. Old school with the, like, kids now is like, yo, what's that? That's a weird looking TV. They used to all look like that, kids. <laughs> I don't see any roof leaks either. No stains. I mean, I don't have to walk around the outside. It had to get hit or something from the outside. Window looks good. And, uh, you know, this might look like it's one that we uh, roll the dice on. Yeah, I saw the dice. I had to do it. It was some cliche crap. I know. TK, that was corny. That was corny. T Intruder alarm. It even has an alarm system on deck. Bootleg, but it's got one. Battery disconnect. Main battery. Oh, you know what? Ha! Ha 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 ha. You know what, though? I bet. Now, that's on. So, that there should be... There it is. Auxiliary start. Alright, so, let me sit you guys here for a second. I should be able to use the auxiliary batteries to see if she'll start. Unfortunately, it won't, guys. So I can go ahead and cut these batteries off. So they don't fully die. A lot of people don't know about those, but now you know where to look. Well, at least on one of these old ones. Well, all the books are here. Motorhome chassis, all of that. That's cool. See, now these older ones, you don't have to worry so much. Oh, look, they've got a DVD player and everything in here. All right. Voltage converter, okay. Thousand watt too. That's what's up. Well, if you got the right battery pack on here, you don't have to run a generator if you got a good voltage converter. All right. Let's take a look around the outside and see why this old girl's here. I'm guessing it's got to be flood or something like that because I don't see any and i mean any 
significant damage. It could be mechanical. It does have, it looks like it does have that Ford V10. I don't think it has a diesel. Um, it does have a generator. Let's see what kind of generator it's got. Probably Onan, right? Or Generac. Is it locked? Yep. Well, that's good. No one's going to steal a generator. All right. Well, all these bottom compartments are locked. That kind of sucks. Big exhaust pipe. I'm guessing this is a V10, man. Especially where the motor is up front. If it was a diesel, it would be in the rear. Banks power pack. So it's got a special power system. Oh, here's the motor right here. Uh, or it goes into it. Engine oil. Battery control fuse center. Big boy. And here's the batteries. Right here. It does got some big batteries. But these are house batteries. Alright. And that's the battery to start the damn thing huh I don't know I really don't I wonder if they got more batteries under the carriage though with that special thing like it was saying ah, I don't know it's worth looking at what year is it to 96 oh she's old it's been here since june yeah we'll take a look at it what's the harm in the, what's the harm in, in putting it on the watch list right let's take a look at it and see what happens <clears throat> now this is a bounder and it's missing the entire front windshield so i'm guessing that's why it's here the entire front windshield is gone and it had to hit something in the front because it's also missing whatever the hell they patched or built there right batteries are here house batteries are all disconnected yeah this one on first inspection you'd be like oh it just needs a window but nah there's probably some structural damage somewhere because if it just needed the window replaced even if it had to put in the window frame they'd have fixed it whoa the rotted steps um really doesn't instill confidence this one is really bad really dirty it's got the chevy 454 in it i can tell you i know because i had one Whew. and good luck driving those through the mountains because it sucks air yeah this one's nasty it's really not worth looking at this one i mean it's not like nasty where it's intriguing to look at like oh my god it's so disgusting we should look at this it's just dusty and honestly it's not one that i would me personally i i, I wouldn't put them on here into that you got to get a whole window frame the whole window frame is gone and put a window in oh wait a minute we didn't get to this side. I'm like, oh, it's just just some minor stuff. <laughs> it's just a window. Oh, man. From the window to the wall. Man. Could you imagine somebody bidding on this just looking at the first photo? Sight unseen, and then they get here, and they're like, I don't know what to do with this. Boo-hoo. You bought it. It's yours. <laughs> oh whatever it did it hit something super hard man it's completely broke i'm gonna be careful back here because i bet the sewage lines are busted too huh look at that rim Whew. not every day day every d every day you see crashed um rvs carnage that's some for you right there wow is all i can say about that wow all right let's keep it moving shall we now this rv looks nice from the outside <laughs> it looks so nice man look at this thing man it looks beautiful it's a diesel pusher it looks so beautiful and then you get here and you're like oh snap toasty can you say toasty with me? Wow, look at the handle even melted. 
Are the steps still? Steps are still good. Look at that, man. Try to give you guys a good look. Look at that natural light coming in from the top, man. Whoo! Whoo! Oh boy. That's uh, yeah. Done. Next on our list, <laughs> we have more toasty. I don't know what it is about these RVs going up in smoke like that, but geez, man. Another one missing its engine and the trans. It's basically a rolling chassis. So, crushed uh, trailer. Interesting. Oh, and we have the truck that goes with the trailer. Oof. Wonder if this thing like rolled down a mountain or something. Ouch. Oof. That can't be good. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I don't think that ended well. All right. Let's take a walk. I told you guys we were going to hit some cars and then we're going to hit some heavies. We might even hit some bikes. Depending on what I find while we're out here. Hey, wait a minute. Got an old-fashioned police cruiser. I like the Panthers, man. You know, you find a good Panther platform, a good Panther car. You gotta, you gotta jump on those, man. You gotta jump on those while you can. Look at this thing. Oof. Window windshield busted. It is a run and drive. Now these things are tanks, literally. Like body on frame, great cars. I think they're the last car that was made body on frame, right? Whew. Dent, that back door needs to be replaced, but luckily it looks like down below it's not worse. Look at that. So really just had to replace the door. 183,000 miles. I don't know what it hit. Back looks okay. We'll have to check the other side. Definitely has a little police antenna right there. Interior looks good. Certified calibration, which tells you it was a law enforcement car. It is missing the door card in here, but not bad. It does run and drive, according to the listing. No major damage on this side. This is not a bad Panther platform. This is not a bad rebuild project. Literally get a back door for it. If you want to replace that fender or fill it in, if you were going to paint it, but if you were just going to get a car that you could drive and beat on, this would be it. This definitely would be it. Let's look and see if she has any juice. Oh, look, she has power. Stop. Uh, she's dead though. I bet you it runs. I bet you anything it runs. Runs like a champ probably too. Look at the speedometer. The battery's so dead. It was like... Da -da 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 -da. Huh. I said, let's see what's in the trunk, shall we? You never know with these police cars what you find in the trunk. trunk open probably nothing but it never hurts to look hey look at that a full-size spare see full-size spare rubber mats that's what's up an ice scraper and a window puncher over there huh well there you go not bad see there are some diamonds in the rough you can find out here guys there really are you can find some really good cars. Look at this Honda Accord. 189,000 miles on. There's Hondas out here for days. The problem with the Hondas is this one doesn't run. The problem with the Hondas are, though, because it's a Honda, people overbid them shits. Like, look at this Honda Accord. 64,000 miles. This is all early 2000. 2005, yeah. They'll bid this one up. Wrecked. Like this. 
and someone would pay like twenty six hundred dollars three grand for this car it's crazy priuses are like that too if they're newer like these older ones now are starting to go cheap but that way i mean you have to know the cars otherwise you're going to get bent over super hard on hybrid battery packs and everything else you know what i'm saying so if you don't know the cars you you you're in your best interest not to mess with them you know what i'm saying all right so nissan i say centro but this might be a damn versa right no it's a centro it looks just like that stupid versa i had in puerto rico maybe they're just different on the island i don't know i haven't seen one here yet since the one i had hey there's a little riced out lexus that has seen better days for sure it really has because that sucked there's there's a non hard to hard tuned sonic smashed all the way around and then we come to what i really want to take a look at i know i know guys but look at it though bmw 6 series these have the plastic fenders as well and you can see the plastic fender is cracked and busted but that is a very simple repair very simple repair all right clean on this side now i see down on the front fascia oh don't tell me you have undercarriage damage no 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 let me stop the wheel looks straight back tire is definitely flat oh i hope it doesn't have undercarriage it does list as run and drive though no other damage around the back uh-oh it's got custom pipes it's a 650 somebody really wanted an m6 but they just couldn't afford one so they got one of these and there's nothing wrong with the 650 to be honest with you oh it's clean on the inside except whoever's grubby grubby elbow was in that thing and left their dead skin and nastiness all over that damn armrest wipe every once in a while it's okay to wipe down the inside of your car ladies and gentlemen okay it's okay nobody's gonna like berate you or say anything crazy to you let's see if she has power to start transmission malfunction yep undercarriage damage what you want to bet we'll see where this is is it in park is it in neutral brake system drive moderately yeah it's got some probably significant undercarriage damage there's no lights over here i'd like to turn this off all the way because i'm willing to bet like power yeah, I'm talk about yeah like even it might have low battery Yeah, battery's dead. I tried to start. Oh well. Yeah, transmission malfunction. This thing's got undercarriage damage. That's like when you saw that piece on the front. The front piece that was damaged and the back room was flat they ran over something hard and fast and destroyed the car more than likely huh it's 2012 it's not super new but it's a newer body style like you could ride this and nobody would not know that this car is how old it is you know what i'm saying nobody would know it's an eight year i mean a bmw guy will know Oh, yeah, the battery's so dead, the window's not going up. All right, so let's give it a second and see if I can get it to finagle itself to go up. It's still closed, but not enough. Sad. Well, there's that. Ouch. I guess we go back and look at some of these uh, heavies, huh? You guys are getting a good mix today between the rvs and the we'll get to the semis here in a little bit but between the rvs 
and the semis and the Mercedes and the BMWs. I think we even got a police car in. Like, wow. All right, let's take this one out. It doesn't have a do not enter sign on it. So this one's a striker. Looks cool. Extended season RVing. Oof. Not a good sign. <laughs> Boy. Yep, can't get back there. I thought it was probably a toy hauler or something, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna reach through with my arm and give you guys a look. So you can see back there. I can't. But I can get my arm in there. Ooh, look, I see some kicker competitions up there on the wall. This thing's a banger, huh? Oh, is that a is there some kind of vehicle back there? <sighs> Sorry, I had to stop the video and see what it was. It's a chair. A recliner. I'm guessing this is the bathroom, right? Nice. It's been winterized. You like to see that. Nice shower. This is a really nice damn RV. Someone's going to really pay a lot of money for this. And to see all of the conveniences and stuff here. That's what's up. King size bed. Like this thing is like... I wonder if this thing was brand new. And somebody screwed up. LCD TV mountain bracket location. Okay. Yeah, that, like this looks like it was a an unfinished project maybe. Huh. Well, they just it was so new they kept the tags on everything. Fire extinguisher on deck. Let's walk around to the rear and see if we can get in on the back side. Structural warranty for 3 years it says, huh? big old slide outs this thing would be a nice a hell of a nice rv man and i know somebody tried to correct me they were like last i checked the pull behinds were called travel trailers and the ones with engines were called rvs look man this shit is a recreational vehicle you can call it whatever you want <clears throat> you know what i'm saying and for the trolls that'd be like da, 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 da. look man i don't call your mom anything else when i'm getting into it sideways just call it your mom. You know what I'm saying? If you want me to call it something else, I can do that. I know some of y'all are going to be like, damn, TK, that's foul. All right, so here's the back part. So, yeah, it is kind of like a toy hauler. You ain't getting nothing super big in here. You can get some bikes, like a couple motorcycles in here for sure. Got the chairs. So, yeah, man, this is a nice, you know, you can go to Bike Week and not get your stuff stolen. I really don't know why this is here. Fan right there on the ceiling. I really wonder why it's here. Speakers on the outside. This is nice, man. This is really nice. I wonder. I really do. Like, I'm legit wondering why the hell is it here. It's got an exhaust pipe. Is that? No. Yeah. So it's got a generator. That's locked. Okay. Solar on the side. Portable solar kit. No crap, huh? Gas lines. Cable and satellite. Cool. Big boy connection. City water connection. Like, this thing is nice, man. Everything's labeled the right way. I mean, it's like, it's literally like it's brand new. <laughs> I like this. Maximum load capacity, 250 pounds. So you're telling me I could possibly, maybe, fit on that? I know y'all can be like, TK, you ain't no 250. Stop it. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, what's up with this one right here? It's a connect. All right, whatever that is. Looks like it's got two. Oof, that's a toy hauler, I think, too, huh? No. Just has a weird step. Stove and everything is at the rear. Let's see if the front's as bad as the back. These almost look like they were brand new. 
I wonder if they got hail damaged or something in a storm and they never sold them because this damn thing looks like it's brand new. See, now this is something I would want to pull behind the ram, right? This is what's up, and then this folds up, huh? Oh, wow. No, it's storage. Okay. So you got room to put a big bed. You got storage. Uh-oh. What'd I do? <laughs> I got to get it from the middle. My bad. Woo! <laughs> so you got room for a bed. Which takes you into a... This is a big shower for such a little RV. No BS. Look at that. That's a big boy. Like, I could just fit in there. I'm good. I mean, my head might be all in the skylight, but... This is not bad, man. I like this. This is like a little... Oh, see, there's the slide out. But you got a fireplace. Man, this is the traveling buns magnet, man. Telling you right now, look at this it's big. Look at a big refrigerator, too. Big boy refrigerator. Look at this, man. All right, I really don't want to overspend on an RV, but I also don't want to buy one at retail. If I'm keeping it honest, and I'm looking for just a little one. There's only two of us if we're going around somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So, this could do it. And, the, and I guarantee you, the Ram will pull this all day. No problem. Look, it's even got the hookups. Everything's still here. These are the stuff I'm talking about. Like some of these little modules, some of these little things. People steal them, and then they're gone. But it looks like everything's here. Yep. Battery connections are here. Hell yeah, man. This one right here could be a, a decent deal. All right, guys, this should satisfy y'all's craving for RV stuff for the week. The last item we're going to look at in today's video is, I don't even know if this is called a Class C. It might be too short for that, but maybe. It might be a Class C. But this little RV. <laughs> y'all going to be like, TK, stop antagonizing these trolls. Oh, my God. Yeah, maybe this one was flood damage. <laughs> I'm guessing the damage was flood. <laughs> what the? What the hell? I gotta watch my step in here. Holy crap! Yeah, it's gotta be a flood. I don't see. Yeah, it is. It was a flood. I don't think anybody just tracked in this dirt. You know what I'm saying? This is this is like it was here and you can see where it dried and then it started to break up. Yeah, you can see the water line too. See it? You guys see that water line? All right there. Now it did miss the fuse box, but not really. It goes lower than that. So this thing's probably got electrical issues for days but does not mean it is not savable but damn the fact that the water was this high this high now think about this this is not sitting on the ground the ground is down there the water was this high it is a flood for sure no no doubt in my mind about that and here's all the books for it now the question is we're not going to start it because it was a flood. But I wonder if it has power at all. It doesn't. Okay. Let's go open the driver's door. I'm going to look at the engine compartment and see if the motor is waterlogged. But this one, even with the water damage, and I know y'all will probably say I'm crazy not bad storage compartment full of mud yeah i wonder what happened they must have got stuck into something flash flood hit them or something had to be but 
But let's take a look at the engine compartment because this one right here could be a little diamond in the rough. You can see there's the water line. See the water line? So it was up over these seats. Or it was right at the edge of those seats. You can see the water line right there. So let's look at the engine and see. You can see there's water in the headlights. So this thing got flooded, flooded. All right, does this have a stick? Cancel, Siri. Nobody asked for you. I hate that. It's a vort. Cancel. All right. Yeah, you can see the mud is all the way up here. Look at the water line. It covered the entire engine. So I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet you that with all of this mud and stuff up here, if it was running, if the engine was running, it's done. If it wasn't running, maybe not. This one I might be able to look at without, because it doesn't look like it has screws. This looks like the air filter is right here. Because normally you can't, you're not allowed to take stuff apart. But I'm not here. Ah, that's dry. So you know what? This thing might have been parked and got hit with a flash flood. You know what I'm saying? That's my guess. That would be my guess. That would be my best guess. Let me buckle this all back up. So that air box is dry. So that would lead me to suspect that it was parked and it got flooded. Does that mean that water didn't get into the engine? No. Probably could have got into the transmission if it sat long enough in the water. But it's a gamble. It could be an expensive one, but it just depends on what you think people would be willing to spend on it and if you'd be willing to roll those dice someone's gonna mistake that <laughs> but there it is let me know what you guys think in the comments all right guys that's gonna do it for today's copart walk around major shout out to the entire staff and all of the people out here at the las vegas area copart locations i you know shout out to alex shout out to michelle um thank you guys very much for being the most hospitable guests ever um, I really appreciate it. Shout out to the whole team at corporate that allows me to go around and do what I do. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. We got more coming for you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow, depending, cause you know, we're getting close to new year's, uh, for the holiday. So there may be a live auction tomorrow with what I look at on the main yard. Um, but we'll see. But that's why today was just a regular long, old school copart walk around let me know what you guys think about the rvs if you guys want to see more of them i'll try to do more of them it really wasn't anything crazy or nasty like they literally take care of their stuff out here and stuff that is like extra crazy they they don't you know it says do not enter on them so but uh yeah shout out to all my bmw people that have been telling me i've been lacking all my bmws there you go you got a bunch of bmws uh in that video uh the giveaway on the black mamba is still going on you don't want to miss that Today is the 28th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, four days. At the end of four days, come January 1st or New Year's Day, probably later that evening, New Year's Day, we're going to do a, a, a live stream, probably, and then we're going to pull uh, a winner from one of our members. And because you guys voted and you guys went heavy in the comments, you guys are right. Uh, some people were like, well, there was no rules on it. If somebody... Wanted to risk all of those accounts to create that many uh, members to to win, then so be it. But I also respect the guys that have been here for a long time and what they said, and they're right. So what we're going to do is, you know, those the person that has those 100 accounts, because they're very clearly identifiable, um, they're going to count as one entry. And unfortunately, that person could be mad. I, I understand it, but... Um, we'll have to do that moving forward. We'll have to say like one entry per household. I guess I have to get a lawyer to actually draw up stuff on our giveaways going forward because it's crazy. Like you try to do something nice and people try to take advantage of it. 
That said, while we're here, how about we do something nice? I'm feeling generous today. I'm feeling generous today. One comment in the comment section at some point, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow in the morning when I wake up. Remember, I'm on West Coast time right now. So it could be afternoon for you guys. I will go ahead and pull one name and you gotta have PayPal, but we'll shoot you $100 via PayPal for one person in the comments, 100 bucks. I don't think anybody else does that on YouTube between me giving away all these Amazon gift cards, money on PayPal and cars. But what do you say? I like to give back to my subscribers. Anyways, with that said guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate y'all being here and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,